The movie opens with a chilling glimpse of blood pouring down on the feet of a naked woman, as a baby lets out animalistic shrieks in the distance, with no elaboration whatsoever we get back to a couple Madeline and Michael, trying to conceive a child soon Madeline is left alone in the bed as she stares blankly at the ceiling daydreaming we soon skip several months ahead, and Madeline is now pregnant with only a few weeks until the birth both of them are having dinner at. Michael's parents' house Michael's mother. Vivian isn't necessarily rude to. Madeline passing comments about the food in her way, all while Madeline sits there heavily pregnant with a husband who says nothing this animosity between. Madeline and her mother-in-law only grows when Vivian dares to say that. Maddie's decision to consult a midwife. Patricia instead of their family doctor. Richardson is quite foolish keeping a hold of her anchor Madeline defends. Patricia saying that she runs her own clinic and has countless years of experience after dinner the couple is on their way to Patricia's clinic when Michael expresses his about Maddie's choice she urges him to at least go inside, insisting that his worries are for naught they enter and are welcomed by Patricia's assistant Shelley Sumather. Patricia joins them and inquires about Madeline's health the scene changes and the couple is back home having dinner when Madeline feels a sharp pain in her chest hunched over in agony, she shouts for her husband, terrified Michael calls for an ambulance in haste, as he tries to be of any comfort to his wife, they get to the hospital before. Long and Madeline is immediately taken to the air, adding insult to entry Richard gets there as well, because Vivian asked him to seeing him Madeline is furious and rejects any of his treatment, unmoved by her wishes however Richard demands that the doctors induce her labor, even if she's too early into. The pregnancy finally growing some backbone Michael calls his mother raging at her about her actions he then proceeds to inform Patricia of the situation who arrives at the hospital in no time talking to the doctors, she insists that they do not induce right now, when her voice goes ignored, and she is threatened by security, she makes it clear that she holds a medical degree herself, and has years of experience in midwifery further she demands that they hand her Maddie's reports, and assume it is Richard who is being belittled, the reports clearly show no need for early labor, proving that Sohn's diagnosis was incorrect soon, Maddie is given some regular treatment and discharged, but it seems that the adversity hasn't ended yet the couple is on their way back home when Michael gets distracted, and their car swerves rapidly, this accident proves to be fatal, Michael dies on the spot and Maddie is losing blood thankfully a stranger arrives on site and a numb. Madeline asks him to call Patricia we enter Patricia's clinic, the silence is loud, as Madeline lies still on the stretcher unconscious the news that we dreaded is true, the baby inside Maddie has passed like its father, but no one has the courage to tell the forlorn mother about it, what they end up doing is letting Maddie go back home, assuming that when she delivers the baby will be a stillborn as if that could cut through. Maddie's grief a few days later Maddie is miserable she sits in her home all alone in the darkness, as she grieves her. Michael she hasn't even removed his voice from their telephone voicemail, instead she replies it's staring at nothing to recover, she decided to go outside for some air, but fate had other plans while going through some items in a shop or water breaks, but it's all bloody she is immediately carried to. Patricia's clinic where a group of ladies assist her to get her baby out. Patricia leads the delivery and takes. Madeline to a bathtub to ease the process, the scenes are horrifying Maddie wails in pain, signaling that something is wrong the water is colored with scarlet blood when finally Maddie pushes out the deceased child it's a girl they say, but there's no joy on their faces the baby is dead has been for a long time, but Patricia decided to hide the fact the little girl is clearly lifeless, her skin young and her limbs ever so still that the despair wasn't. Already enough Patricia sees Madeline trying to breastfeed her sweet girl, and when she gets closer, she's shocked to see that the child is actually breastfeeding, she's alive, Madeline is ecstatic, for she doesn't know that her baby died in the crash, long before she names her Grace and Patricia. Returns to her senses in the next few minutes we see Madeline in her new life with Grace, as Patricia tries to convince her that she should. Have some tests done on the baby. Madeline is unhappy with this idea, and says that her baby won't be a mere case study for researchers her return to life is nothing else but God's miracle. Grace continues to grow and so does. Maddie's concerned for her she keeps noticing unusual activity around her girl, her diapers are clean when they shouldn't be an awful smell, surrounds her 24-7, and the net around her is swarming with flies, just like they swarm a dead body having enough of the terrible odor. 
Madeline takes Grace for a bath The strange occurrences do not disappear for when she puts Grace in a bucket and starts cleaning the water, suddenly turns red petrified Maddie pulls out her baby and notices some rashes on her skin oozing with blood she immediately calls. Patricia for help but the call repeatedly goes to voicemail moving on we see Maddie trying to breastfeed Grace, she feels some pain but thinks nothing of it and only tells her baby to be gentle, it also appears that Grace is unable to digest the breast milk and hence she pukes all over her shirt though. Scene changes and we see Patricia putting her belongings on sale Shelly confronts her saying that she knows. Madeline is sick Patricia thinking of the mother who has already lost enough, doesn't want to do anything as she deliberately doesn't pick up her calls elsewhere, Vivian blames Madeline for her son's death because apparently everything wrong with this world is. Maddie's fault she cries that Madeline won't pick up her calls when she asks to see the baby tired of it all she visits tipped. Richard and asks him to meet Madeline to examine her, she then reveals her plan she asks him to prepare a false report stating that Madeline is mentally ill, so that Vivian can gain full custody of her granddaughter one night Maddie jolts awake in pain, she hisses as she glances down at her breasts. Only to discover blood stains around her nipples realization sets and when she sees a coup in Grace, whose mouth is covered in the blood that drenches Maddie's shirt, she realizes that Grace is actually only satisfied when she is feeding on blood and not milk, afterwards the mother is wandering in a supermarket when she spots blocks of bloody raw meat, knowing that Grace will only feed on blood, she buys the meat in large quantities and Branson home despite being a vegan, she squeezes out the blood from the meat and fills it into a milk bottle, while everything looks like a crime scene, shortly after Maddie tries to feed the blood to Grace, but to her confusion, she refuses to eat alarmed Maddie realizes that Grace only seems to like fresh human blood rather than animal blood the next day Maddie is disposing of the unused meat in the bins outside, when she notices a car outside her home someone is spying on her, we soon find that it is actually Patricia who is keeping an eye on Madeline, eating no mind to the car Maddie returns. Inside only to see Grace crying and vomiting the animal blood her condition has worsened as her whimpers almost. Sound animalistic and she is trembling while drenched in sweat, her baby's condition compels Madeline to continue feeding Grace with her own blood through her breasts, Maddie tries calling. Patricia for any guidance but Shelley answers and lies to her teeth, saying that the midwife is out of town, having no other choice Maddie continues to feed her own blood to Grace regularly, the results of this practice are visible a few days later, she has become weak and pale her body shakes with tremors while her vision becomes blurry, her condition worsens as the frequency of feeding increases she tries calling Patricia again, but Shelley retorts with the same excuses before we find that even. Patricia is unaware that Maddie has been calling her soon Vivian demands Deb. Richard to visit Madeline and escalate their plan where she can have Grace live a day longer under Maddie's care at. Maddie's house Richard arrives and although she absolutely despises that man she surprisingly lets him in, as she is feeling dangerously weak Richard with his record of accurate diagnosis, tells her that she might be anemic, he also asks her to give him a sample of her breast milk to test it the baby is getting all the required nutrients while pumping the milk, Grace lets out a cry which strangely causes Richard to think that she is unwell, he rushes upstairs. Richard immediately runs upstairs. Madeline tries to stop him, but he ignores her and nears the nursery in her. Panic Maddie smashes a glass bottle against his neck, which ends up knocking him down blood pools around the men's head, as Maddie maniacally scoots it up with a smile, she has got an idea she drags his body into the bathroom and cuts through his flesh, just like with the raw meat earlier she squeezes his blood into the baby bottle without any remorse meanwhile Vivian not getting any message from Richard, arrives at Maddie's house and rings the bell, the sharp sound knocks Maddie out of her reveries, as she hastily closes the bottle and comes out of the bathroom downstairs Vivian manages to enter. As she finds the door open she takes a look around the house, finding it to be in a state of chaos she attempts sneaking upstairs but is. Abruptly stopped by Maddie who takes her to the kitchen and says that Grace is tired so she needs her sleep, Maddie refuses Vivian's incessant pleas to meet her granddaughter, which forces the older lady to devise a plan she ends up pretending to use the bathroom, Madeline heads to a room to change. 
and Vivian sneaks upstairs entering the nursery she finds Grace asleep in her crib Maddie grows suspicious, and just when she hears some creaks from upstairs, she dashes towards her baby's room, panicked the mother makes a dash at the nursery, but is aghast to see that her baby is not lying in the crib. She left her in meanwhile Vivian is mortified as she stares mouth at Gabe in two. Richard's very dead body in the bathroom of course there's only one person who could have killed him she thinks, and picks up a hammer as precaution Vivian has Grace strapped to her chest, as she gently shuffles down the stairs, keeping in mind not to alert the baby or her mother alas Madeline finds. Her giving her the same blank stare we're all used to at this point without any care for Vivian's scared trembling form, Medi tells her that. Grace is a miracle who survives on special food she puts her hands forward to take her baby, but Vivian attacks her with a hammer out of nowhere, Patricia arrives at the house, and hears some unusual noises back to the confrontation, inside Maddie has fallen on the floor unconscious for some reason. Vivian gets close to her crying and muttering apologies repeatedly but to her horror. Madeline awakens and bites a chunk from. Vivian's throat leaving her for the dead the loud noises compel Patricia to run into the house, only to find Vivian and Madeline lying on the floor covered in blood she makes a decision some time has passed, and we're in a trailer in the middle of nowhere, it is soon revealed that both Patricia and Madeline live in this trailer with Grace, their appearances have changed drastically as they don their disguises all to protect Grace from this world or does the world need protection from Grace the film ends just as it started we see Madeline's feet covered in in blood that drips from her breast, but the blood is not the only concern now for Grace has started teething, the last shot is chilling as the camera focuses on Madeline's mutilated breast and Grace's lust for human flesh.